G'day, g'day. It's time. Tournament time. And the date has been set to the first week of August 2016, which is about a week from now from the upload date. So on the screen, you can see the brackets, which have been created and seeded by Godwin, who is the head admin of this tournament. Um, so before I go through the player profiles and team profiles, I just want to uh, give the players who are participating a bit of heads up that uh, you need to add Godwin to your friends list and also make sure you join the Steam group so you can find the players you're playing against, all the teams, and organize your games as it is partially your responsibility to, to do so. Also make sure you understand the rules, which is quite extensive on the challenge page. Um, so the bracket, you can also see that there is some numbers assigned to some of the games in round one. This is just a placeholder for any teams that would want to join. Um, so if you if you still want to join, you still have a few days. Uh, get back, get to me, get in touch with me or Godwin. Um, just make sure you are going to play to the end, not join and quit halfway, etc. Just make sure you're keen and eager to play. Um, and obviously, it's on the award at War mod. Okay. So I'm going to go through the players now and the teams, uh, team profiles uh, in a very casual format as I don't have time to make proper intro with graphics and stuff. So let's uh, jump into it. Uh, Kangaroo and Wallaby, that's my team with Hansi. Um, I think our positives are we have a lot of experiences in, as a team. We played in many tournaments. Uh, we are good at pressure. You can call it spam play. We like to outspam the opponent. <laughs> we do have a lot of knowledge as well. Um, yeah, so we, we are a bit different. Um, I'm I'm old, Hans is young. He's got good micro, I've got a good macro, as I understand the mod and knowledge of the game. Uh, we were undefeated prior to the last tournament, um, but we've, yeah, because we failed against 5TA and Imperial. But we are looking to redeem ourselves this time, but uh, we also aren't in the best shape so lack of play will definitely cancel any of the benefits, I think, of knowledge in terms of the mod being the mod creator. So as, um, just, yeah, I don't think we'll win this. And as Jessica likes to say, the age of the kangaroo in Men of World tournaments is over. And I agree, potentially. Just talking myself down, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> so we got to, uh, yeah, we're not fighting anyone first round, but round two, we will meet uh, either Fight Clan or Randy Boucher. I don't know who that is. Let's have a look. Fight Clan. I know Fight Clan is a ridiculously big team. So click on Fight Clan. I'm not going to bother going through the player profiles of this clan. I don't understand why would they enter a 2v2 tournament with 10 people in there. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what to say about this. They've got a few good players. Fluffy Sensation from New Zealand. Um, yeah, we used to play with us in the Anzac Mao in houses. Uh, I don't recognize too many. Black Phoenix is okay. They're a decent team, but I don't think they really play with each other or have much experience. So it looks like they're just here to have fun and perhaps uh, they might be the easiest uh, team to organize against as. Pretty much you want to organize a game versus them. There's bound to be at least two of them online. So good luck to Fight Clan. I don't know anything about you guys. Uh, what's Randy Boucher? Who's Randy Bush? Boucher or Bush, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Rabbit Tabbit and Dr. Benicus. I am sorry, I do not know a thing about you guys either, but good luck to you. And I'll probably meet one of you in the round two. Um, catch my, oh, that's quite a, quite a nickname you have there. So who's in that? Obviously it must, must be the Jutska. <laughs> uh, Jutska, Jutska, Jutska. What do we have for Jutska? Yeah, so basically this team is a very mixed bag of elite players. You've got Mr. Pringles, the best 1v1 player in the history of the game, in my, I think, uh, recent times. Then you have Shota, who was in Wild Hunt, who won the last 2v2 tournament. Problem with Wild Hunt is Konos actually is out of, out, <clears throat> out of gaming. So the team did split up, but they've joined um, Epic Wartime, which was Jutska, Little Chino, and Simers. So... It's basically a mixture of Epic Wartime plus Wild Hunt plus the best 1v1 player. <laughs> um, so uh, epic amount of skill in that team, um, which have won tournaments before. They're in, um, mm, I, th I think they've just got the skill. They've got, definitely got the single skill, just because and Mr. Pringles, and you have uh, great team players in there. The problem, I think, is if 
if uh, Jutsuka Shoto or Mr. Pringles and Jutsuka play together, they do have a bit of egos and might, they might clash. They've got a bit, they got big personalities as well. They'll try to dominate each other, trying to see who's got the best strategy and one, one of them might, ha- might, you know, not listen to the other. And that's where it could all go crashing down for them. It's their weakness is egos. This, their bonus is that they've got uh, unbelievably skillful players in there. One of the teams to watch out for. And I am hoping I'll meet them in round three. And if I do, uh, I am going to be destroyed. <laughs> it's going to be a very good game. So good luck to them. I would rate them probably one of the favorites. Next on the line, we got Lobo and Lobo. I think that's the J Dudes team. Uh, let's have a look at who's in that team exactly. So yeah, Booba. I think Luba is Booba. Booba and J Dudes, a decent team. Um, played quite a few practices. They're pretty good at the award at Walmart. They have been you're playing it a lot, practicing, and they they don't have the best individual skill, as in terms of one v one skill. But in two v two, I think they've got good teamwork, and they may get lucky versus the super super teams to potentially uh, win win a game. But on average, yeah, they they should be. At, they, I think they're just on the outside. It's outside of top four. And they may have a chance in round two versus catch my um, catch my N. We'll see how that goes. Uh, two Stooges, who's that? Let's see two Stooges. We got two Stooges. There is <laughs> Gay Mexican and Choxel. I don't know these guys, but uh, good luck to them. Um, they're gonna face a tough game. I'm gonna pick Lobo and Lobo for this one for sure. Um, shall go through the the picks later on. And number two, you got Uprising. This is 5TA, the Russian team, plus another Russian team, I believe, WG. You've got uh, Tedessa, Mikoyan, and Koenig's Tiger. I believe Tedessa and Mikoyan will be playing most of it because Koenig's Tiger uh, doesn't play that much of the mod in my in my uh, knowledge. But uh, yeah, I know a lot about 5TA. Mikoyan, I don't know too much. I just know he's a good individual player. Um, they've got good experience to team they're all super players. Uh, Tedessa is the winner of the last World at War 1v1 tournament, uh, beating Mr. Pringles in the epic three series. If you haven't seen that, you definitely should see the first game uh, of that ta- of that uh, matchup between Tedessa and Pringles in the World at War tournament. Uh, just ignore my coughing if you can. I was very sick at that time. Um, but yeah, they debuted 5TA, which is kind of stuck in Tedessa, debuted in the first international, coming second, and... They showed everyone in AS2 that defense can work as the meta for AS2 has always been spam, attack, attack, attack. But uh, yeah, they, they've proved that defense works and it's they've changed the meta entirely of the competitive community. Uh, when playing them, you, you probably see just lots of infantry just spread out all over the map behind, intric- intricately placed behind all the best covers everywhere. They're just so good at placing troops and markering it. And pretty much they're almost unbreakable when they're in a lockdown position as they're masters of um, countering at the end game. So they can potentially hold and lock down and at the end game you'll struggle to beat them if you can't um, take them out early. Um, yeah, I think the World at War meta definitely suits their style and they would be definitely the favourites, I think, in this tournament. I think they are going to be the favourites. And now with Mikoyan, I think uh, it may be, they may be even tougher. Who knows? I'm not sure how they're going to gel with Mikoyan. Let's see how it goes. Um, then put on the pizza. Who are those guys? Who's put on the pizza? Put on the pizza. Uh, uh, finger maggots, la- the lone bunghole, and all underscores. I think, uh, I think they're relatively new players. Good luck to them. <laughs> Uh, so not much to say on those guys. Let's see who they're playing against. They're playing the Scrub Witches. There are a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, new teams here just having a bit of fun. Should be fun. They should have a good game versus another new team of Killer and Mr. Stabby. And good luck to them facing Uprising and <laughs> round two. Good luck. Good luck, gentlemen. You'll need it. Get all the practice you can have. And on the next side, you have the European Gentleman, which is the Nat Nat team. Of uh, Framas and Nat, 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 uh, yeah, obviously infamous in the competitive community for being very difficult to manage and 
uh, in tournaments in terms of rule breaking and uh, arguing his way into victory. Uh, it was in part of Catch My Comet in the f- first 2v2 tournament and has performed decently, I guess, in tournaments, uh, not uh, getting a placing usually, but uh, always performing to the highest competitive, um, yeah, competitive spirit, pretty much fighting tooth and nail for every victory. Yeah, in the game or outside the game, doesn't matter. He will try and get the win um, either way. And from us, uh, has shown to be pretty good in practices too. These guys have beaten a few of the topper teams with the uh, with in practices, so I think they're they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, I I believe they might get through to round three, but they do have some other teams in the way, and that is in the form of Omega CLS, which is uh, Liam Smalley. Thompson and Sweet 2K4. I'm not sure if Liam's still playing, to be honest. I think he quit. Uh, we'll see about that. But uh, a very formidable team. All good players in individually in their own right. Um, not super, but all pretty pretty nearly there. And I think they'll be a bit out of practice, but I, I know that they work well as a team and they have beaten a few. They've beaten 5TA in practice in the World at War mod uh, once. So if they can do that, they can beat anybody. So I'm um, looking forward to, to the matchup if they get through beating the team's suite, uh, maybe, I'm guessing. It contains uh, Recon, Grey Goose, and Sweetness. I can't say I know too much about the skill level of these guys, uh, though they do have a very formidable team to fight against. So my predictions. Uh, Kangaroo Wallaby is going to beat the no team. <laughs> And then Fight Clan are uh, going to go through, maybe, I think. And then we're going to beat Fight Clan. Then Catch My Nigga. Oh, sorry, guys. F you, Jutska. I'm just going to say F you, Jutska. Then you got uh, Catch My M. Then here, going, fight, uh, we're getting through, fighting Lobo and Lobo, who beats two Stooges. Then Catch My M will go through. We play out each other. Then I don't know who's going to win that. I'm not going to say. Uprising is going to meet uh, one of these guys. I don't know who, but they're going to easily beat them, go through to round three and play off. Uh, I think the European gentleman will get through. Then Uprising will get through, play. I think I'm going to say going to play catch my end. And in the finals, I'm going to see Uprising versus, I guess, anyone. When it comes to the losers, losers bracket, it's either going to be, um, I think, yeah, probably European gentleman or us. Uh, fighting off um, Catch My End to fi- fight off Uprising in the finals. So there you go. I'm going to try... What's this button? Start accepting predictions. I'm pretty sure you can do this. And what happens is uh, you can create a prediction. So let's just try that now. Actually, this is cool. I think I think you can actually send this link to other people. Um, and it'll work. So the... Yeah, okay. And then when the tournament goes on, you can kind of see the predictions. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to send you guys this link. Um, and I can start accepting predictions. So Fight Clan and me, Catch My N, Lobo Lobo. I'm going to say Catch My N. Anyway, guys, I've got to run. Uh, no point going through all that. Uh, good luck in the tournament. Any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. See ya.